Hello everyone, this is Mondan Nagavan and today we are going to use the chat GPT for test automation perspective and specifically for the UI automation using Java and Selenium. Given this can be used for the Python and Selenium combination or any language with Selenium combination. The only change you need to do is like in the prompt instead of Java, you can mention Python. Let's see how to start with test automation using chat GPT. Imagine you are the new person who joined the automation testing very recently, then you will be having some challenges. So how to overcome that you need to learn in the daily basis. For that, I'm going to ask the daily plan for next 90 days to learn Java and Selenium. If you are from Python or JavaScript, you can replace with the string Java to Python. Give a 90 days plan to learn test automation with Java and Selenium. So here you can see the week wise plan for the next 90 days. What are the topics you need to go through to excel in the test automation using Java and Selenium? These are the main topics, introduction to Java basics, essential Java concept, Selenium web driver basics, advanced Selenium web driver, test NG and test frameworks, test automation best practices and CA CD process and practice with the real world project. The detail or let's say the detailed topics has been given in the subtopics. For example, Selenium web driver basics can be Selenium web driver test automation tool for web application basic things and just developing the environment and uh, interact with the different web elements like clicking buttons, filling forms and so on and creating basic automation for the, the basic simple web pages. Okay, now we have the plan, we can continue. But however, we need to use the chat GPT for the most efficient process of test automation, right? Let's imagine you need to open the browser and verify the title and you have been doing this for long time and you are doing the same thing again and again in the different Eclipse IDs or IntelliJ or any ID that you use. Just to make the reusable class, we can ask the chat GPT. Or better, we can ask the reusable methods so that you can use reusable methods. To open a browser. And verify the title. Here I am just adding the verify the title because it is another example. In future, if you have some other scenario, you can add that scenario also. In Java. And it explains the each and every method and gives the sample class to test that the main class. Just go to the main class. Here you are just creating the methods web driver sorry, the get driver, which will be getting the input as a browser name. That means that you will be giving the Chrome browser, for example, then you can have all the setups inside that that will return the web driver object. Then open browser, you will be just having the URL and the browser name. And verify title, you will be giving the expected title and the browser name, maybe the browser title. Yes, expected title. And it will be verifying and it will be giving the actual the Boolean result. It can be true or false. And how to test that? Uh, before to that, what are the methods we have and what are the activities it is doing? The explanation has been given here. And the sample test, you can use the same, the reusable method, and you can call that. Okay, fine. So let's imagine another scenario. I need to get all the links from the given page. Need to get all links in given web page. So this is a sample scenario for you. It might be the different scenario. You can ask that scenario and it will give the code for you. Now it is retrieving all the links from the given web page and it is just putting into the list and it is iterating and printing the text for you. For your case, even you can click on that. You can see the response code or you can see some elements present in that like that. It can be used for the smoke testing or let's say broken links testing. In maximum scenarios, you will be using the different test environments can be the UAT, SAT, ST and so on. And for that, we will be having the different configuration or the test data in Excel file or properties file. How to read the Excel file or properties file. First, we will go with Excel file. 
create a reusable methods to read and write to read and write excel file let's open to their excel file and properties file for excel file you need to add the dependency from apache.py and properties well it's simple straightforward just reading the file and example the class that you can use to test the the reusable utility files the first one we will go through the first one is the excel utils where you can read the cell value by give, by giving this file path and the sheet name and whatnot row index and column index yes you are giving the file which has to be read and the sheet name which sheet name is in the tab index and the row index and the column index and another reusable method is write cell value. You will be giving the same inputs like a file path, sheet name, and row and column, and which value you need to write in the string name. And properties file straightforward. You will be having the key and value. Here you have the write properties and read properties. But uh, properties does not have read method. Let's see in the sample code we have or not. Okay, fine. So you have the property values. So after getting the properties object, Using the property object, you will be using the get property and set property. That's good. Okay, fine. So now we have the reusable utility to read the Excel file and properties file. Just before this video, we have learned about the Agile projects, right? So in Agile projects, maximum time you will be using the user stories. More relevant to that, we will be having the BDD Cucumber feature file in test automation, which can be the interface for both business people and the automation people. So for that, I'm going to ask the very abstract BDD Cucumber feature file for the given scenario. Booking a cab in Uber. Let's imagine I want to create the feature file to booking as to book the cab in the Uber. If you have more details, you can give the more details to create the precise BDD feature file. See how much scenario is it's finding. Let's imagine book a cab in Uber. First positive scenario, book a cab successfully. Invalid pickup location, invalid destination. Book a cab without selecting a ride option. Book a cab with no available cabs. Cancel your booked cab. Check a cab availability in specific area. Wow, there are a lot of scenarios we have covered. It's very easy to get the future file by chat GPT, but what about the step definition? Above futures. Let's correct the grammar or spelling mistake. So it is giving the basic setups and it is giving the basic code to start with your step definition because now you don't need to write a method with syntax and the, the variable name or let's say the method name matching the, the BDD Cucumber feature file. Even it is creating the runner file. That means that by using this runner file, you can directly start executing your code. So all is done, almost 80% of job is done. Either you can add the locators or the basic code. I am registered user based on the code that you need to add here. You can just add it and run it. Even we can just combine with the previous output, something like we have asked that, right? So I think we have not asked, okay, fine. Let's say you have the basic code here. Now with this, you can execute even runner file has been created. Now coming to the main point, the most of the times we will be spending to find the locators whenever the page changes or whenever you start the new automation. Finding the locators is nothing but go to the web page, for example, sasdemo.com, which is the practice site. I want to automate this page for login. If I want to get into the username, I need to right click inspect. 
and I will be going to the specific web element and right click, maybe copying the XPath, which can be straightforward. So this is the XPath that you can use it, right? Similar way, you need to do a lot of things when you have the multiple web UI elements. Just stop this. Now in this way, I need to ask the chat GP2 to, to create the web locators, not only creating the web locators, because creating web locators can be done by using the record and playback tool. For example, Selenium record and playback or playwright record and playback. Now I don't want only the locators, but I want the locators along with page object model class. How to create that? Basically, you will be having the knowledge about the locators because you are going to the DOM structure. The same way you need to give the DOM structure to the chat GPT and ask it to create the page object model class. How to do that? Right click, again, view page source. Land wrap, you can make it, control E. Get the DOM structure. Now go to the chat GPT. Create a page object model. or below HTML page and shift enter will go to the next line and paste the, all the HTML code or DOM. It is telling to create a page object model for the given HTML page. We need to identify the elements we want to interact with. The it's the source code, it does not contain any specific elements. Let's go to the page again. Right click, view page source. So it is not having anything. Oh, well, that's the reason it could not find it. Let's go to again, right click and inspect. How to copy this? Oh, we are not able to copy that. Just give a minute. Okay, fine. We got the solution now. So you see the entire DOM structure has been displayed here. Go to the main one, which is the HTML, which is the starting. Right click and edit as HTML. You will be having the entire HTML code, but you need to go to the main tag, which is the HTML, which is also starting one. Control C. Now go to the chat GPT again. here HTML code shift enter yes now it is creating great now here you can see the page object model has been created now here you can see in the all the three elements that we have seen in the SWAC labs username password and login all the things has been created. Wonderfully, it has created the variable names also with the proper structure because it can be the private variables and public methods. It following the standards as well. Now just imagine whether it is correct or not. And it is just finding by the ID, username. Control C, right click and again inspect. And you can see the ID username. Yes, it's matching. So that means that it is precise. So it is finding the actual locators and creating the page object model for us. Now you have the page object model, you have the step definition, and you have the future file, and you have the reusable classes, everything you created using the chat GPT. And wonderfully, you can understand how it works also, right? And maximum scenarios, we will use the build management tool or the running tool as a Maven, right? So how to create the Maven command line commands? For example, let's see, I want to execute all the future files. Give a Maven command to execute all future files.
okay it is giving us a plugin cucumber plugin okay i need the cli command so now it's executing maven test right so just maven test <coughs> sorry <coughs> so maven test itself will execute all the future files i need to execute maven test command to execute okay let's mention execute tag at smoke Yes, now we have seen a D cucumber filter tags and you can mention. Great. So like that, you can ask the even the CLI commands to execute your test cases. And even you can ask for the regular expression. Right. Regular expression to find all mail IDs. ends with at mukund.com here it is so you can find the regular expression and even it is creating the java class also to find that regular expression and the test class also for example here i can give the different test classes to find whether this data is matching by my regular expression or not wonderful isn't it right so in java automation and Selenium automation especially. Now you need to know the basics of Java and Selenium and you need to know how to ask the correct question. But you don't need to know how to code the entire thing by your side. Using the chat GPT, you can do all the things if you know the correct questions and the correct prompts. However, in total, in summary, we have seen how to get the learning plan for the Java and Selenium for the next 90 days, we have seen how to create the basic reusable codes to open the browser to verify the title. And we have seen some specific scenarios like how to get all the links from the given web page. And we have seen how to create the utilities such as reading the Excel file or writing the Excel file, reading the properties file, writing the properties file. And we have seen how to create the BDD feature file. And we have seen how to create the step definition for the same. And we have seen the main part as how to create the page object model class by using the DOM structure code, or basically the HTML code. And even we have explored how to get the different Maven commands to execute your different future files or the tags. And last but not least, we have seen the regular expression also, how to create the regular expression. Because when you have the dynamic data, you need to create the regular expression. And wonderfully, it has created the regular expression tester class. And even it has created the test data for you. Basically, you can learn and do a lot of things by using the Java Selenium Automation Framework along with ChatGPT. This is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.